What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd? Do you mega nerd? I am Tom, this is Lady Lacey, and we do nerd for Mega Man. That's right. The Blue Bomber in 2022 is celebrating his 35th anniversary. Ouch, ouch, I think the age pains are coming in. Yeah. He made his debut back in 1987. That was not that long ago. Uh, it, that was yeah, like oh, 10 yeah, years ago. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to think so. <laughs> now, uh, this Blue Bomber, he is one of the most synonymous third-party heroes of the NES. And Capcom's little wonder, I mean, he's transcended so many mediums besides just video games. That's true. He's done comics, he's done toys, he's even done tabletop games. Yeah, you did mention toys. I did. Like, I uh, like them. a couple of cute little fellows here. Yeah, look at these adorable little toys. Oh, look at this. So he's kind of got like a Funko Pop look he to him. He kind of looks like a Funko Pop or a Dorbs. He kind of a little bit Dorbs-like. He, Dorbs. he is totes of Dorbs. And uh, he's he's rocking the red this time, not blue. Well, I mean, he, he has to change it up once in a while. This is his Valentine's Day outfit. Well, what about little Cut Man here? I mean, this figure is great. He's got all of the joints and articulation of a standard action figure. So you can put him in all those action Honestly, poses. Honestly, who doesn't want a kid's action figure that has scissors on top that work? Just can... don't run with him. Oh, I'll run with him. You don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> now, to be fair, I actually didn't grow up with Mega Man games. We didn't have any when I was a kid, but we have reached out to some of our fellow nerdlings who did grow up with Mega Man, who have fond memories, and we're going to start turning it over to them throughout this series. So first up, Sega Head, what is Mega Man to you? Go! Mega Man is one of the greatest NES franchises there is. In fact, personally, my favorite game on the NES... Mega Man 4. Why Mega Man 4? Because it's bleeding nostalgia for me. Back in the day, I didn't get to play many NES games, hence being the Sega guy. But this one is awesome, mate. The colors, awesome. Graphics, well, let's be honest, it's 8-bit Mega Man. They don't improve a hell of a lot throughout the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 series. But 4 still has some awesome visuals to it. The music is the best. In fact, when my minute is up, my good friend Gravy Tom will undoubtedly play a track from Skullman's level just to show you what I mean. How much time have I got left? Hardly any. Here's a toy from Mega Man as well. It's Rush Pop Figure. What time have I got left? Hardly any. Um, I think it's better than Zelda. It's definitely better than Mario. It's definitely better than bloody Tetris 2. Anything's better than Tetris 2. How many seconds have I got left? None. You get the picture. That was pretty awesome. All right. Hey, of course, there's going to be a link in the description down below. Please go check out Sega Head and Nerdlings. Leave some comments down below about what Mega Man is to you. Your mega memories, as they were. Now, do all that YouTube stuff. Leave some likes, some comments, please, if you would. Uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, because there are going to be more mega memories coming your way. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there, like this lovely little shirt here. And hit us up on the Retro Refresh, like this lovely shirt right here. And if we like it... We nerd it. For Mega Man.
<laughs> oh, oh, that's terrible. Don't wear your underwear on the outside. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. <laughs>